What's up guys, it's me, your badass here, Shaven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon, our gold walkthrough. Okay, so, here we are. We finally won eight badges in all. And we got ourselves an extra badge right there. Look at that, the Johto badges and all that stuff. We started this on July 10th or June 10th? Oh, damn. Anywho, guys, so, we could have taken the easy way out and just flew our way to New Bark Town. But, you know me, I kind of want to show you guys everything that goes on around here. This is going to be a short, sweet episode of me going through this route. Now, while I was recording this, I was actually have—I actually had my Pokemon handbook with me just to actually check out everything. So everything that I visit around this area is from the Pokemon handbook, mainly because there's like rare items and whatnot and uh, Pokemon trainers. If I was going to battle every single one of these Pokemon trainers, yeah, this would take me longer than 15 minutes or so. So let's go right ahead and start kicking some butt. That's right. So, anywho, in our last episode, we went through the last gym battle in Johto, and, well, holy crud. Yeah, Claire made us work for it. Kingdra made us work for it. Literally made us work for it, and I, I was a little mad, and, you know, Nasty right here, MVP. The MVP of the team, so I am happy, I am glad that, you know, uh, Nessie's actually bailed us out. In this, in this particular episode. So now, we are actually going to be going, uh, we're going to be talking about a few things here and there, guys. You know, I made plenty of decisions along the way. Some good, some bad. I don't even know. But, we got this. We've rigging got this. So, anywho, guys, what I was trying to say right here is this, that, you know, you guys notice the, the, the lack of episodes that have been coming out as of lately, and that's because I've, I've explained it you know, football season. Both football seasons uh, have uh, have come, and uh, this has actually split my time with everything. And it's really, really hard to believe that this is finally happening after a full year, literally a full year, guys, with this whole pandemic going on. I we're still in it. It's just now everything's opened up, I think. And uh, this guy right here, Pokemon League, you might want to try. It. Oh, okay, never mind. But yes. Uh, it's been a full year since we've been through this whole pandemic, guys, and wow, holy crud. We got a lot done, and well, like like many good things, good things have to end. I'm not saying I'm ending my channel here or anything like that, no, it's just, you know, the amount of time I had to make more walkthroughs has come to an end. Now it's actually the time where I have to really, really moderate the amount of episodes that I come in because, you know, my time. My, my time is very, very valuable, and I really, really do thank every single one of you guys for being patient with this, the amount of uh, walkthroughs that I've, I've made and, you know, the amount of time I've taken off just to get this whole thing going. And, well, couldn't be happier to make walk, making walkthroughs because I made some changes. I've uh, done a lot, of, a lot of good things. It will actually affect, you know, our... It will actually affect... Uh, how I make walkthroughs in the long run and all that stuff. So, again, guys, thank you. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient. Uh, some of those changes include I got my own space, you know, my own little office space at my at my uh, work. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, doing a little bit more in there than I'm doing right here in my uh, in my uh, current vicinity, my my actual house and all that stuff. That way, if I need to do a walkthrough while I'm having a break, I can go there and do it right there and then. So anywho. Let's go ahead and go back to uh, kicking some butt right here. Now, apparently this guy is at level 13, so I may be a little over level for this guy. Yes, guys, a lot of these people that you find will be, well, let's see, they'll be under leveled because they're close by to the first few rounds that you start off with. And, well, right now, level 13 Geodudes are no match for my uh, Nessie right here. Happy. Very, very happy about this. And look at that. Geodude has been defeated. Again, because I'm, a, I'm awesome and all that stuff. <laughs> I guess. I don't even know. So, let's go right ahead and talk about another thing, too. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, some of you guys were asking about Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, some of these walkthroughs were during the time of the pandemic and all that stuff. And, yes, I, I, I will still come out with extra episodes with those. It's just taking my time, doing my thing, that kind of stuff. And, well, I'm going to be flying back 
right here. Look at that. We're back into the entrance area of this route. So now we're going to go into the opposite way to actually find out where and when, uh, where, where, what we can find around here. Again, I'm not going to battle every single one of these trainers right here, guys. It would take a long time. I'm just trying to show you what you can find if you go this way or that way. There's a lot of things you can actually find. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Um, you guys have been asking about uh, Stadium. And then Sword and Shield is another another game that you guys have been asking about. And I can say this, that it will be coming out pretty soon here. Um, getting around to it. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm getting around to it. And, well, can't wait. I can't wait to get back into the, uh, into the realm of... Uh, or the, 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 the uh, not the realm, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, how should I put it? The region of Galar, I should say. <laughs> the region of Galar, we'll, we will be back, and uh, we will complete that game. Holy crud, we're almost complete with that game. And April is right around the corner too, so yeah, Pokemon, Sta Pokemon Snap and Pokemon, uh, the new Pokemon Snap will be coming. They will be coming. I, I, I'm pretty sure of it, guys. There's a lot of stuff that we're doing. Lots and lots of stuff. Now, here, here we are taking on a Graveler. Holy crap, this guy has a Graveler. Let's go ahead and switch him out to Hercules. Is there anything else I need to talk about? I don't really. It just feels good to talk right here. It really does. It really does feel good to talk back right here, guys. I know many of you guys missed uh, this, this episode right here. And, uh, well... I have... I can say this, guys. I have finished uh, the main game to this uh, to this walkthrough and the episodes will be coming out not daily but on you know consi on a consistent basis consistent uh, can't even speak right now holy crap consistent basis and uh, well on a consistent basis I will be showing you guys different things and all that stuff and I can't wait I cannot wait and well here we are, Gligar. Now, you can actually find Gligar here, and, well, since we are in Generation 4, you can actually evolve this Pokemon, so... That's pretty awesome. That's friggin' awesome. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use another Super Repel right here, and... Let us move on to this right here. A Max Potion. Mm-hmm. What's up with the Max Potion? Uh, yeah, can heal our Pokemon. All that fun stuff. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out the next pair of Pokemon right here, and... Well... We haven't seen this guy in quite some time, but might as well do it right now. Let's go with Cinder. Cinder right here. And, well, Kelly's coming out with her Meryl, so I kind of made a, the, the, the mistake right here. This is my fault. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Strength Attack. See how this Pokemon feels after this and all that crud. Look at that. Strength Attack. Nearly does it. And here comes an Aqua Ring. What does that do? I do not know. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it tries to heal up the Pokemon, but here we go. Strength attack does it again. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, alrighty. So look at this. We're uh, we're doing our thing, and uh, well, she's gonna come out with a War Turtle. So yeah, there's no point of me using a uh, Cinder right here because uh, yeah, Fire type Pokemon don't want that. And well, there it is. Flub Bolt. Haven't seen you in like ten years. So. Come out with War Turtle, and well, let's go right ahead and use a Discharge Attack. Let's see how this, uh, let's see how this works on you. And, well, look at this. Say goodbye to War Turtle. Oh yes, I'm feeling good. Feeling great. And, well, Flup Volt has been defeated right there. Or no, not hasn't been defeated, but it's the first Pokemon in my team to get to level 40, which is great. Let's continue this whole thing, and, uh, well, let's see. I kind of want to use another Pokemon, give him a little love, so I'm going to go with Relic right here. Now, last time we saw Relic, unfortunately, yeah, Homeboy got, or Home, yeah, Homeboy got beat by Kingdra pretty easily. So, we're going to take our anger out on Wartrel right here, and uh, that's right, there we go, Psybeam does it for us, Wartrel has fainted, and, well, there we go. Ace Trainer Kelly is no more right now, so let's go right ahead and move on to the next best thing right here and see if we can actually find another item, but no, we found ourselves another trainer, so let's go right ahead and go straight to Relic right here, 
And, well, let's see what Relic, or this, let's see what this person has to say right here. I was training here alone. He was. He was training here alone. Okay, alrighty. So, here we go again. And we're going to be taking on a mod choke right here. And, well, Relic, it's Payback Tour time. And uh, here we go again with another side beam attack. And, well, mod choke defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, look at that. We're just kicking butt, taking names. Nessie has nothing. And, well, Kenji has been defeated too. Kind of looks like a, a wrestler, like Nakamura. And, well, of course, after you defeat this man, he will actually try and get your phone number, which I guess I'll try and do, but I never answer. There's only three people right there that you can actually get the phone number from, and it's actually very, very important. And, well, here we have another trainer. And, well, climbs mountains because he likes the training. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, here we go, taking on Hiker Timothy, and he's coming out with his Diglett. So, let's go with Relic. Relic... Do your thing. Side beam attack, and unfortunately for us, we're not faster than a Diglett, so we're gonna take a hit. So here we go. Side beam attack. Let's go. Side beam attack does its thing. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, so it's actually working out, and uh, well, here's, he's gonna be coming out with a Doug Trio, so let's go ahead and switch out the Pokemon. Let's go with Nessie. And, well, let's see. I bet Nessie can do much better than, than what it is. So, Doug Trio, how you doing? And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a Surf Attack. And, well, Sand Attack is going to just, uh, yeah. Sand Attack is going to keep us blind for just a little bit. So, let's go right ahead and try and hit it while it keeps on trying to blind us and all that crud. All that crud. Okay, we're, we're, we're a little blind here. Oh, God. Oh, God. And, well, there's a critical hit, so here we go. Surf attack for the win. And, well, there goes the trio. See? You see? You see? It all works out at the very end. And, well, Timothy has been defeated. I feel good. Okay. And, well, we, we're we not exactly going to battle that trainer because eh, there's nothing too important. But if you come here, you're going to find another tree. And you can actually find another Apricone that, you know, you may or may not use for capturing different Pokemon. I never really do. I mean, I always forget. Yeah, I always forget about the Apricorns. Uh, I think you can capture some rare uh, water-type Pokemon around here, too. And, well, let's see, we're coming down. And here we are in Route 46, so this is actually the very end, I guess? No, it's not the very end. We still got a few trainers to actually beat, so why not use Cinder for this whole uh, battle right here? And, well, oh, I'm raising Pokemon. Okay, so he is raising Pokemon. I'm raising them too, so here we go, taking on Camper Ted, and he's coming with his Mankey. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right now with the... Uh, with this right here, Lava Plume attack. Lava Plume. There we go, Mankey. Okay, so now we're, yeah, we're actually, yeah, we are actually in an area where, of course, the Pokemon trainers are a little bit weaker. Now, you can actually go through this area through the Dark Cave. I can go there right now, since we are now enabled to actually use every single HM. But that is a story for another day. I don't think I recorded uh, the extra parts of the Dark Cave. don't necessarily think there's anything important there. Do not know. Don't quote me on that. But, 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 they, we will be getting back to, uh, to the Dark Cave at some point. I'm just going to have to remind myself if I watch this episode again. I don't know. We shall see. But look at that, Cinder. Cinder's kicking butt right here. Cinder is kicking butt, and Erin is coming out with her Oddish. So, let's go right ahead and uh, I'll take on this Oddish right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with the Lava Plume attack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lava Plume does its trick. Oddish has been defeated. Cinder growing a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And Erin has been defeated. And, well, of course, she is going to give us her number. Kind of reminds me of a girlfriend I had named Erin. Her name was actually Princess, by the way. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. And, well, look at that. 
X speed, we got ourselves an X speed, and that's good. And well, let's go right ahead and uh, let's see. We're gonna have to switch everything out right here. So let's go and fly to New Bark Town now that we don't necessarily have anything else to do. And let's see what Professor Elm has for us. He says he has something very, very awesome. Very, very important. So here we are, back where it all started, New Bark Town. And the repel effect is still in effect right there. And now that we're here, Lyra notices us and she's like, You collected all eight gym badges? That's so cool! The professor's waiting for you. And well, here we are, the Professor's waiting for us, and he's like, Yes, we amaze him. Take this token of, a, of an appreciation and look at that. We get ourselves a Master Ball, which. Pretty, uh, it's a pretty nifty item. And, well, after that, he is actually going to let us know about a little situation that's going on with the Kimono Girls. So, before we go into the Pokemon League, we actually have to go to the Kimono Girls because they're looking for us. That's right, pretty ladies are looking for us always. Stay tuned, guys, in the next episode, Kimono Girl Time.